there in the traffic and uh, a van pulled up to me with this guy in it with he looked like a big bikey with woolly hair and a big long beard and he uh, he looked at the window was down he looked over and he said oi and I, I gradually looked around and said, yeah yeah mate he said does it go as good as it looks <laughs> I nearly fainted My name's Rod Sheriff. I'd like you to introduce my 1975 Rolls Royce Cornish Drophead. I've owned the car for about six years and they are a labour of love. Uh, the, they become an obsession uh, because of the quality and the, just the cars themselves, just beautiful to drive, lovely and quiet, comfortable. Um, I just love it and I uh, love the comments you get. People always give uh, wonderful comments about it as they're walking along or in the traffic. Um, so far I've had no bad comments about it, but it's just a lovely feeling. People obviously enjoy seeing uh, lovely classic cars on the road. My uh, history with cars, I've always been interested in cars, even as a child. Um, when I was in my early 20s, I was touring England. I had the opportunity to bring an E-Type Jag back to Australia, and the obsession with English cars started then, I think. Uh, later on, I had the opportunity to buy a Bentley S1 uh, with another friend of mine who already had a, uh, a Shadow, uh, sorry, a uh, Cloud, Rolls-Royce Cloud and we decided to do weddings. Like they were both black and we absolutely loved it. And people just loved the cars more so than any other uh, type of Rolls Royce. Just the clown seemed to have it for weddings. We sold the business and both of us agreed we missed having a Rolls Royce. <laughs> uh, Mark, my other friend, bought uh, he bought one from Melbourne and uh, I found mine in on Chevron Island under a block of units. advertised it. Uh, he used to come up from Sydney and this was his Gold Coast car. The only trouble is he left six, sit for six months every time and when he went to use it, it wouldn't go. There'd be leaks everywhere so he actually had uh, not a good run with it but uh, as soon as I got it off him he was relocating, uh, getting, selling everything going back to Sydney so I, uh, I bought it and then they uh, uh, proceeded to get it back into top condition. Um, fixing all the oil leaks was the big thing, uh, suspension and brakes. Uh, but it's here now and it's, everything's working on it. It's a beautiful car to drive. And uh, we love, my partner and I love uh, taking it out for drive on the weekends and uh, going for coffee somewhere or the roof down. 
because it's not cold uh, and it's just a pleasure, an absolute pleasure. A little bit about the car, it's a 1975 uh, Cornish convertible or drophead as they call it in England. Uh, 6.75 litre V8 naturally aspirated with a three speed GM gearbox. Uh, very reliable, very low stress motor, uh, just lopes along very easily. Not the most economical car, <laughs> about 12 mile of the gallon around town and uh, 18 on a trip. Couldn't tell you how many litres to the 100 k's that is, but it's uh, it's a lot. But if you're going to enjoy them, you don't worry about the uh, the economy of it. That's for sure. Always get good comments about the car. Uh, people very complimentary. Um, I had uh, one in, uh, incident at a service station. A young guy and his father, and his father said, "That's a Rolls Royce, mate." And the kid went into raptures. And when I let him sit in the car, I'm sure he's still dreaming about it. Uh, it's lovely to see so much enthusiasm for a classic car like that. I'm sure he'll be a future owner. And uh, Another time we were in the traffic and uh, a van pulled up to me with this guy in it with, he looked like a big bikey with woolly hair and a big long beard and he, uh, he looked out, the window was down, he looked over and he said, Oi! And I, I, I gradually looked around and said, yeah, yeah mate, he said, does it go as good as it looks? <laughs> I nearly fainted, I thought, oh thank God for that. And uh, yeah, it was just a lovely, mate, he said, bloody beautiful, bloody beautiful. And it's good to see people of all walks of life appreciate them, and uh, yeah, not be we're not snobby about it. The the Rolls Club I'm in mean, are all lovely people, and uh, just normal people that appreciate their cars. My name is Harry and this is a Rolls Royce that I saw um, a few years ago and I loved it ever since and this is a real big beauty and see that man over there? That's the owner and he shot um, a video of me when I was young and he said hey hop in the car and I'll take you for a spin so I'm like alrighty I'll hop in with my dad in the back so I was like, okay. 
So he gave me a, a, ride, a ride and he revved the engine a little bit and went, thank you very much sir, thank you.